Live from Dallas, Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. And welcome back to this midday on a Tuesday. I'm Megan Mitchell. Lots of news to get right to. New fallout from the 2020 election. A new legal filing against Fox News Channel as Chairman Rupert Murdoch admits some network stars endorsed false claims about election fraud. Andrea Fuji reports. This morning, one legal expert calls the statements made by Fox News boss Rupert Murdoch strong evidence that people at Fox knew they were endorsing false claims about a stolen election in 2020. There's no question that it looks bad. Murdoch saying in new court filings about the election falsehoods, I would have liked us to be stronger in denouncing it in hindsight. Adding any executives who allowed election lies to be broadcast should be reprimanded or maybe got rid of. You're really not supposed to say things that are either that you know that are false or that are recklessly indifferent to the truth. Murdoch made the remarks during a deposition. Fox News is being sued by Dominion Voting Systems for $1.6 billion, claiming the network hurt its business by allowing some hosts and former President Trump lawyers to claim the company's voting machines rigged the election. In the new court filing, Murdoch acknowledges Trump's baseless claims of a stolen election were promoted by Fox hosts, including Lou Dobbs, Sean Hannity, Janine Pirro, and Maria Bartiromo. What can you tell us about the interest on the other side of this Dominion software? Well, obviously, they have invested in it for their own reasons and are using it to commit this fraud to steal votes. Dominion lawyers asked Murdoch if he was aware that the host endorsed the false claims, and he replied, yes, they endorsed. But Murdoch denied Fox itself promoted the election lies. The network responded to the filing, saying it was simply covering and commenting on allegations by a sitting president. We do want there to be room to be sincerely wrong, sometimes even negligently wrong. But, you know, you weren't malicious. On the other hand, there's a point at which you start to destroy the fabric of democracy, um, especially around allegations of, you know, vote changing. Previous court filings show Fox stars, including Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram, privately doubted the Trump team's claims. Fox has tried to get this case dismissed on First Amendment grounds, but for now, a trial is set for April. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.